नमस्कार शिक्षार्थियों आज के सेशन में आप सभी का स्वागत है आज हम बात करेंगे लेसन 28 बी की सीनियर सेकेंडरी लेवल पे जिसका टॉपिक है प्ले सेंटर एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चरल डिटेल्स हमने अब तक एक प्ले इक्विपमेंट की कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स की बात की थी जिसमें हमने बात कर ली थी एजुकेशनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स की और उनके डिज़ाइन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स की नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कंस्ट्रक्शनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ प्ले इक्विपमेंट सो ह्योर यू कैन सी इज दैट देर इज स्प्लिंटर फ्री वुड इन द फर्स्ट पॉइंट यू कैन सी ह्योर देर इज स्प्लिंटर फ्री वुड सो स्प्लिंटर फ्री मीन्स इफ यू हैव एवर ऑब्जर्व अ वुडन पीस कभी उसमें एक ऐसे क्रीक सा निकला हुआ होता है कुछ भी छोटा सा लकड़ी का टुकड़ा जो हमें चुप जाता है और वो बहुत मतलब दर्द करता है फिर तो उसी को हम स्प्लिंटर कहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टू ड्रॉ वुड पीस सो इफ दिस इज अ वुड पीस एंड देर इज दिस छोटा सा क्रीक हियर सो दिस इज द स्प्लिंटर इन द वुड एंड स्टर्डी हार्डवेयर तो एक तो सबसे पहले स्प्लिंटर फ्री होना चाहिए वुड का पीस इफ वी आर यूजिंग वुड एंड इट शुड बी स्टर्डी इट शुड बी लॉन्ग टर्म इट शुड नॉट ब्रेक वेरी इजिली डिपेंडेबल ऑलवेज वर्क सो द टॉय नीड टू बी गुड इन स्ट्रेंथ एज वी जस्ट डिस्कस इट नीड टू बी स्टर्डी हार्डवेयर देन कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव एंड इकोनॉमिक रिपेयरेबल कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव मीन्स बिकॉज वी विल नीड इट इन अ पर्टिकुलर क्वान्टिटी वी डोंट नीड ओनली वन पीस वी नीड एटलीस्ट टू टू थ्री पीसेज ऑफ अ टॉय सो वी नीड द टॉय नीड टू बी कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव देन कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव एंड इकोनॉमिक इकोनॉमिक इज टॉकिंग इन द फाइनेंशियल फंडिंग ऑफ द प्ले सेंटर एंड रिपेयरेबल रिपेयरेबल इन द सेंस दैट इफ अ टॉय इज ब्रेकिंग इट कैन बी रिपेयर इजिली एंड वी डोंट हैव टू बाय अ न्यू टॉय ऑल टूगेदर अगैन सो दैट्स वाई कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव इकोनॉमिक एंड रिपेयरेबल सो दीज वर द थ्री characteristic of good play equipment now we are going just a so now we going to discuss the outdoor play equipments and the indoor play equipments so uh, to understand this better what you can do is there is a list given in your text in your slm on page number 96 in hindi and page number 88 in english so you can see how much quantity of each and every equipment can be used in a play center in ratio to the number of child that are involved in the play center so in the textbook we have got the list for about 35 to 40 children and we and uh, there is specific amount of each and every equipment given side by side so we're going to discuss the equipments that can be used in a play center in the outdoor play setting swings jo simple jhoole hote hain hum sabko pata hai to swings tricycles because 2 to 5 year old hai to abhi balancing unka two wheels ke liye nahi hai so that's why tricycles then jungle gym jungle gym is basically where different different uh, basically gymnastic kind of exercises are involved so what we have got a question from ayush singhal on youtube he is asking what is the meaning of exploration so exploration ayush what exploration means is basically understanding the different aspect of any object for that matter so for example as a individual if you ask me ki aapne life mein kya explore kiya hai so i have uh, explored various things for example i have explored travel i have explored teaching i have explored different uh, for example cuisines so exploration means actually uh, say discovering different things about anything for example for your own uh, about your own self about somebody else about for example a forest you can some, you can go to a jungle and explore the different kind of flora and fauna available exploration is basically if i have to say it in hindi exploration means matlab bahut sari cheezon ko ढूंढना और उन्हें समझना कभी कभार क्या होता है कि हमें कुछ चीजें पता नहीं होती हैं हमने क्योंकि एक्सप्लोर नहीं किया है तो एक्सप्लोर मीन्स गोइंग आउट एंड एक्चुअली फाइंडिंग आउट व्हाट ऑल एग्जिस्ट सो दैट इज एक्सप्लोरेशन आई होप आई वाज एबल टू क्लैरिफाई योर क्वेरी एंड इफ देर आर एनी मोर क्वेरीज प्लीज फील फ्री टू पुट अप इन द यूट्यूब कॉमेंट सेक्शन विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू आंसर योर क्वेरीज सो नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द 
outdoor play equipment that we were discussing. So we were talking about jungle gym, slide, balls, slide, we know what are slide, where you sit on the top and then you come down, so that is a slide. Balls, rocking toys, we have all seen rocking chairs, wooden rocking chairs, which go back and forth, back and forth. So that is a rocking toy. Sometimes what happens is there is this, uh, uh, there is this push me toy. So if you push the toy backwards, it will come forward. So that is a rocking toy because it will keep, it will keep coming back even if you push it back. So that is a rocking toy. Push cart, push cart is basically giving the child a chota uh, wagon and they can uh, like stuff anything in it and they uh, push it with themselves. They take it to one place to another, in the play center only. Then ladders, jungle gym also uses ladders. So ladders is basically unke climbing coat or enhance karne ke liye, so that their physical motor development is more enhanced. Then we have is sand pit. Sand pit where sand is easily available to the child to play with and they don't have to dig in the ground if they want to play with the sand. And also sometimes playing with sand is seen as very unhygienic but as a child it is important that they learn what is, how the texture of the soil feels and how actually they can play with sand because that is actually building their imagination. How they can use one resource for different, different play activities. So that's why sand pit is important in a play center. Then toys, different toys, for example, just sand pits are related here, buckets and uh, the shovels, all that. And then easel board. Easel board is basically a board which is used for, uh, say, playing. For example, if you have seen in a play, uh, you'll have to visit a play center. I will suggest you all to visit a play center to understand these different toys and see how actually they are being used in a play center in outdoor and indoor setting. Then we have our plastic tubs. Plastic tubs can be used for different, uh, for you, uh, can be used for different equipments that can be stored in it. Then we have indoor play equipment, building blocks, which can be used to form say houses and uh, palaces building blocks can be used for that and various other things. Basically, constructive toys here we are talking about. As we have, earlier, we have mentioned that building blocks, which are constructive toys and can be used for house building, picture puzzles, picture puzzles becomes different. So what happens is you are actually enhancing their cognitive development. When a child is doing a puzzle, the cognition is being enhanced. They're actually applying a lot of logics and reasoning so that's why picture puzzles are important for cognition development. Dollhouse equipment, science equipment and musical instruments. So all these things are available on page 88 for your knowledge. And you can see in what amount they can be given. So we have another question from Ayush in the YouTube section, in the YouTube comment section. So he has asked, what is the meaning of hazard? So Ayush, hazard is anything which is dangerous to a human being, an animal, to basically to a being which is living. So for example, if we now see any river, most of the rivers are nowadays polluted. For example, if you see Delhi River, Yamuna, it is very much polluted because of the industrial waste that is being diffused into the river that is being laid in the river without proper treatment and sometimes what happens is wo water ka level of pollution itna zyada bad jata hai when it goes into the water supply to wo jo bhi us water ko consume kar raha hai that is hazardous for the other person hazardous in the sense it will lead to health issues in the person or if you give it to plants plants will also suffers a certain problems. For example, unko shayad, shayad plants murjha jai because there is toxic, toxicity in that water. So if anything is hampering our health, it is hazardous in nature. So uh, I hope I was able to clarify your query. Now, uh, I was just saying that the outdoor play equipment and indoor play equipment can be seen in the SLM as well on page number 88 in English and Hindi ke liye you can refer to page number 96. And uh, next we have is 
So here we have discussed how the play equipment will be decided for a child. The number of equipment will depend on the number and age of children. So how much equipment we are going to buy? The number of equipment basically means how much material we are going to buy play center ke liye will depend on the number of children first and then age of the children. We earlier discussed that age group of the children in the play center is 2 to 5 but it is differentiated in different sections. For example, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. So, for every classroom in the play center, the number of the toys will differ. For example, puzzles will be required more in 4 to 5 years of age group. So, we need to have at least, if there are 5 children, so we need to have at least 4 puzzles. So that's why the ratio of play equipment will depend upon the number and age of children. Outdoor and indoor play space, what kind of play space you have? Aapka outdoor play space kitna hai? Indoor play space kitna hai? And the funds available for the purchase and maintenance of the play equipment in a play center. Obviously, we are going to see the financial status of the play center while buying the play equipment. Thank you so much and if there are any queries, please put forward them in the YouTube section. We will be looking forward for your queries. Thank you.